Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles X. And in this episode, we're going to recruit some more characters now that the Maya event is pretty much done here in Silvalum. And in this episode, we're going to do one that's kind of a bit difficult to get done since it's kind of random. I'll, I'll, I'll go into more detail once we get back to NLA. But before we begin this character recruitment segment, I actually want to add Yelv to my team because at the moment, everyone's affinity is really, really high, except for Yelv. Yeah, we need him to get two, two hearts for him to get the signature art that I want. And at the moment, Elma is almost maxed out. So having her with us is almost pointless since really nothing we're gonna be tackling in this episode is necessarily difficult. So sorry, Elma. I know the game designers really want me to use you, but uh, you're gonna have to sit this one out. Hope that's okay. But yeah, I'm gonna start trying to get a head start and get some Affendi with Yelv just so we can get the startup on late game or post game technically. But yeah, now that we got that, let's head to crap. I thought I could jump that. <laughs> Let's head to the administrative district. Because to do this next affinity mission, you need a certain quest, or actually two. You need backup request and marry me to get these two next characters. I don't know what triggers them. You just have to keep like reloading this until they show up. It does help if you do some of the missions on the board, but yes, you need both of these basic missions before starting it. I don't know why that is a prerequisite, but it is. Hopefully you have a better luck than I did since, uh, yeah, that might be partially responsible for multiple delays with this series. The fact I could not get one basic mission to show- Oh god, we just ran straight to the church. Um, uh, anyway, this guy just took me- uh, by surprise, but come over here near the water purification plants, and if you have the backup request basic mission, you should be able to start. <gasps> Foggy Dilemma. No, it doesn't say Froggy Dilemma. Big the cat isn't going to assist. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? Hello there. You must have seen that posting on Mission Control, right? My apologies. It's nice to meet you. I'm Fog Kristoff. I'm a little surprised, actually. I didn't think anyone would accept my request. This is the best thing that's happened to me all month. Thanks for letting me take this at my own pace. You're very patient. I finally got my thoughts together. Let me explain the mission. Basically, some of the data probes installed by the Pathfinders have been acting up. The trouble is, they've got their hands full with installation. So now it falls to the prospectors. Uh, and me, specifically. We rely on data from those probes when gathering ore and other resources. And now, we're being asked to investigate the cause of the malfunction. Frankly, I think it's ridiculous that we should be given such a dangerous job. Besides, field investigation and combat aren't exactly my forte. Already? Wow, that was fast. I wish I could be that decisive. But you're right, we should go have a look. Oh, uh, I suppose I should mention the location, huh? Sorry. They're in oblivion. We need to check out a few different probes, so might as well start with the closest one. Right. If we can resolve the issue, the prospectors can get back to work. Let's do it for new LA. So this here is Fog, not spelt with an F. I, I don't really get what's up with his name and he's primarily, I don't know what he does to be honest. Really, the Winged Vipers can just be all over the place. They're just not really too good, but it ain't gonna stink matter because we got skills and skills totally break the game. Anywho, 
let's fly to Oblivia and get started on this mission, and I hope Fog can walk that far. Hmm. And okay, after walking an incredibly long distance, we've arrived near the busted data probe. And hopefully that cerniculate does not turn around. Hmm, strange. This isn't what I expected to see. Data probes are normally buried underground. Why is this one sitting here? Well, that explains the problem, but not the cause. Let's try another site. Oddly enough, these... Oh, I don't want to go over there. Okay, well, yeah, let's fast travel. That sounds like a good idea, but these data probes are just getting yanked out of the ground somehow. Is it an indigen doing it? I don't really understand, but, uh, yeah, the... Wait. Well, it was right behind my scale? What the dump? Well, that was pretty easy to find. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> this probe's been pulled out of the ground as well. It's like something is going around and intentionally digging them up, or something. Let's head for the next site. This is really weird. I mean, we set up all this time and energy getting the probes here in Oblivia set up just for something or someone to come and pick them up again. That's really, really annoying, and I don't know what's up with this next one, but it says on the gamepad that there's another busted probe right where we were. I'm not sure if it's the same... Wait. I think it... No, no way. No way they make you do that in Xenoblade. Come on, that'd just be stupid. This one's pulled out of the ground just like the others. You're right. This is where we started. Apologies. That's my mistake. My brother was always yelling at me to focus. He used to say the only mistakes I made were stupid ones. Guess I haven't made much progress on that front. Oh, uh, thanks. I appreciate your patience. I promise, it won't happen again. Okay. Well, there's nothing else for us here. Let's head to our actual destination. God dang it, fuck. <laughs> I, lo I love that part so much, it's like... Oh yeah, we already met- we already saw this one, didn't we? <laughs> it's just a- it's a good way to make you like a character when he's just so forgetful. And why the dump am I walking? I don't really know. I have almost all of Oblivia fast travelable. That's a word, apparently. Why the dump would I not abuse them? That makes perfect sense, but uh, yeah. All the way over here in this random cliff, it should be on your map if you're playing at home, is the last part of this affinity mission, and oh yes, those are totally Gomeva. Pretty sure they took out the data probes. That explains it. The Ganglion have been digging them up. And here I thought a hundred meter worm was forcing them up as it burrowed. I'm almost disappointed. Right. Sorry, what were we talking about? Oh, right, the game. So what should we do about it? Well, if I'm being honest, I'd like to turn around and go home. Yeah, I suppose that's not really a solution, huh? If we let them go, the damage will spread. And who knows when we'll find them again. Let's do it. Together, we should almost definitely be okay. All right, gang, let's show these nerds who is boss. And I don't know why, dude, but that is like one of my favorite songs in the game to get me amped up to fight. And okay, everyone, kill everyone. We're sticking 40 levels higher than them. Go, go, go. Surf all Rondo for no reason. Uh, I didn't even press that R. I don't care. Shoot everybody. Shoot every everything. Everything. Gotta die. Uh, oh. It Level 12, uh, yeah, I'm kind of beating the joke into the dirt. That's not, not how you say, let's just kill them all. <laughs> I 
man, I just really like this music. Just gets me hyper for some reason, but uh... Oh my god, please do not ruin this for me. Oh! That was so lucky, I didn't even see him. Are you hurt? I'm okay, just tired mostly. It's been ages since I fought like that. Still, I'm glad it's over. And you made it possible, so... Thanks. It was reassuring having you along, you know? Almost like being by my brother's side again. Maybe even better in a way. It's actually kind of odd to feel this comfortable with a stranger. Oh, um, thank you. People don't usually praise me like that. I think the last time was when I scored the game-winning touchdown. I was 15. Yeah. So, uh, would you maybe want to do this again? I mean, if you feel like it? I'm always on my own, so I can join you most any time. Until our next mission. Well, that marks like the fourth time a giant tyrant almost ruined an affinity mission, and I'm glad it didn't. But yeah, Fog Kristoff will join us, a member of the... Wait, isn't Kristoff a... Nah, I think it's actually... I'm thinking of some other game or something, but it sounded familiar. But uh, thank goodness that's over. Um, Let's actually check out his arts, though, because I kind of want to show him off and kind of make a mention of something. So he does have a unique art, which is sky high. It's okay, it's nice and flick stun, but he also gets upper hand and backslash, and when the game was first coming out, people thought he was actually Shulk, just with this engine, and oh yeah, we actually found, all right, I'm gonna max out Starfall Rondo. Ugh, that's a lot of battle points to go away, but uh, doesn't matter, we almost have all of our melee skills maxed rank, but uh, yeah, he is not Shulk, he's just a blonde dude. My main character is Shulk, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, now that's uh, pretty much taken care of, Wait, are we? Okay, I was about to say, I thought we were all blonde, but, uh, yeah. Now that we're done with that, let's head back to NLA and do the next Fendi mission. Which is actually right near where we caught Fog, or caught him. I keep thinking these optional characters are Pokemon, but Hope Springs Eternal can only be selected if you have the basic mission, Marry Me. And since we do, we can do it. I see. Homesickness for Earth has you crying yourself to sleep. I know it's silly. I should just tough it out and get over it. Not at all. I miss Earth as much as you do. I think everyone here does. There's no reason to feel shame or guilt about it. This is a trauma we all share. Really? I didn't think people as strong as you still thought about it. Of course we do. And I know this is hard, so I appreciate your courage in bringing it up. No, no, thank you! I feel bad taking up so much of your time with this. It's my pleasure. And any time you feel this way again, come find me, alright? I hope sharing this burden will help you begin to heal and move forward with life. It will! Thanks so much, Hope! I just assumed you Blades were all serious, scary types. I couldn't have been more off the mark. I'm really glad I decided to talk to you. All right then. Next client, please. I apologize for the wait. Now then, how can I help you today? Oh, are you in this line of work as well? Thank you for your service. So then, you're searching for ten natural pearls, right? I have a pearl necklace here that should suffice, if you're amenable. Oh, no! That necklace is a memento of your father. You can't keep giving things away to the first stranger who asks. No, it's all right. I'm certain my father would be pleased if it made someone happy. Here, it's yours. And please don't worry about it. I hope it helps. Are you sure? Like, really sure? <laughs> it's sweet how you always worry, Ornella. You remind me of my mother. You've been watching out for me ever since we landed here. 
Oh, but we're keeping clients waiting. Oh, yeah, I guess. All right, next, please. Hey, uh, Hope. I need advice in a big, bad way. My, we're getting a lot of blades today. Do you need help with a mission? No, this is more personal. So, um, do you know if these mimeosome bodies can, you know, conceive? As in, children? I, uh, um... See, I've started living with this guy, and we've been talking, and, you know... Y yes of course. Though I'm a... I'm afraid that's a bit outside my... Uh, what about you? Do you know anything about this? Yes, exactly. What an insightful observation. In other words, if you focus on achieving Blade's goals, eventually everything will work out fine. I see. I guess that makes sense. And it's great motivation to work hard, too. All right, well, thanks to you both for the advice. Ah, oh, thank you. I was really thrown for a loop there. Next in line, step up, please. Lularita needs mega favor, mega fast! Well, this sounds serious. What can I help you with? Jerongal Caravan is under attack from awful beasties in Coldros! Blade Lady must stop monsters and save Caravan! Oh, that's terrible. But I'm afraid I'm only a mediator. I don't have the training or equipment to take on a mission like that by myself. Blade Lady not help? Lularita heard you solve problems for free! Came long way to demand aid! This total fraud! Tarongo Caravan doomed! So many Nopon die! I'm so, so sorry. But this is something I just can't handle alone. You do that? Goodness, I don't know what to... Thank you. I know I can't do everything. But it still pains me to sit by while people suffer. Lularita count on friends! Lularita explain messy details when friends come to Caravan! Thank you again for offering to help. I suppose this means we'll be traveling to Caldros together. My name is Hope Alonzi. I'll do my best not to get in the way. So here's the thing about Hope, she is debatably one of the worst characters in the game, but she just has the nicest voice, I can't even try and talk crap about her man, she's just too nice! I, seriously, she gave up her dad's necklace to help us out, but yeah, here are her stats. She's alright, at the end of the day, your main character's pretty much your entire party, but uh, yeah. The whole thing about this affinity mission was that this guy wanted some pearls to kind of propose, but he didn't really get them. So we had to go get them, and that's the whole reason we're hanging out with Hope right now. But yeah, she's just not that good guy, so... Now that that's been taken care of, though, and we know that she's not really the best fighter on... Oh, oh Hope, could you uh, get out of my personal space? Um, yeah, let's go to Caldros! Because the, the the no pawn really need us to. This is kind of our introduction to Caldros, by the way. But uh, yeah, let's fly over to Silvalum. And once you get as north as you can in Silvalum, you may find this really cool passageway, the Caldros Threshold Landmark. I like this a whole lot. It reminds me of a lot of games I used to play as a kid. But look at these pillars! Oh my gosh, it's so stinking awesome, dude. And yes, the final continent of the game, Caldros. This place is really, really tough, and the ancient war sc Yeah, this looks like a war was here before, and I really want to start playing the Caldros theme, but the problem is... Yeah, there's a lot of really scary enemies over here, and oh, I really want to get that probe. 
Later on in this episode, we're going to try and get 10% of Kaldros uh, surveyed, and no, unfortunately, this quest does not count for any of that survey rate, so we're probably going to knock that out towards the end, but yeah, if you don't see me, that'd be great. Okay, see you later, level 37 guy, who I'm not really prepared to fight with because, well, I don't have my whole party, and we only like two scales, actually, but, uh, yeah, the Nopon settlement is right over here, and this giant crater, probably not the safe, actually, it might actually be a safe place to have a, uh, caravan, but, uh, Lurid L Lurida, we're here, what do you need? Friends finally here! Caravan was attacked again while waiting for friends to arrive! Paul and Orb stolen! Lulurita injured! This is worst day ever! Lulurita is toughest warrior in caravan! Stronger than bull made of rocks! Still, nasty scrape takes three days to heal! Monsters will pay in blood! Now Lulurita tell friends location of monster den so friends can make with killing. Okay, we'll do whatever it takes so you all can live in peace. Whatever they are, I'm sure you can handle them, right? I've never worked with anyone this reliable before. Thank you. It's so rare to be on the receiving end of help like this, you know? It feels... good. Alright, let's move out. So... Yet again, the Nopon are completely defenseless versus these gigantic indigens. Like, seriously, if the Nopon can't, like, fend for themselves, I mean, then again, there are some pretty strong Nopon out there. Tatsu's just a- oh, what the dump is that? Uh, Tatsu's just a really bad example. I don't know how they've survived this long, and why would you pick Kaldros of all places? Guys, this place can literally rain fire, but, uh, oh, that's a lot of Karo. Well, here's the deal. They are weak, like super weak. Um, I'm gonna show you how weak they are. If you're even remotely strong in this game, you will just one-shot them with everything. So, no one really wants to see me kill all five of these Karo. Or maybe you do, I don't really, I'm not, well, I don't want to talk all over it, so I'm just gonna beat them all up, and that'll be that. Y use melee, dude, dude, we already finished Yelv, it's like, use some damage, it's like, we already finished the mission. Why are you barking so voice? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's all the fighting you have to do in this one. Really, this is an affinity mission. More about story and learning about the indigens more than anything. Oh! Friends back safe and alive! Did friends avenge Lularita's wing scrape? We did. This caravan will never have to fear those creatures again. Oh, Lularita was right to ask friends for help, and for free no less. What savings! Five stars for you. What use again? <laughs> People tell me I'm a pushover, but you give me a run for the money. Lularita has plenty of things new friends can help with. Roof of hot leak and rain? Laundry piling up? I'm glad we had a chance to do this. I hope we can work together again sometime. Though for now, I should get back to Ornella. That'll also give me time to put together a suitable reward for your kindness. Yes, I understand that it's urgent. I'm very sorry, but hope is... Oh, thank God you're back! How did it go? All well, I trust. Yes. Lularita seemed thrilled to have it resolved. So thrilled that she decided to pay you a reward? Uh, no. Though frankly, it's my friend here who deserves the reward. Damn it, Hope. This is why our business is always in the red, you know. Anyway, some regulars dropped off a thank you gift. So you might as well take it. At least you're smart enough to take a payment when offered. And there you go. Thanks again for helping Hope out. Um, I still don't feel like I've properly repaid you for all you've done. If you don't mind, would it be okay if I helped you out now and then with your work? Hope? 
I can't remember the last time I heard you make a request like that. Anyway, maybe consider it? You seem to be a good influence on her. Oh, thank you. I promise I'll do my best not to get in the way. Let's work to make the people of New LA a little bit happier. Dang, I don't know about you, I actually kind of like how that one ends. Hope's like, I want to help everybody, even though I'm only one person and I'm a mediator and that's really not my job. Hey, whatever. We will now have a little bit of affinity with Yelv. Hopefully, hopefully that's the first character I need because I am a, well, not really technically a Galactic Knight. Any, oh, okay, we got the one heart, sweet. So all I need is one more heart with Yelv, and I will be able to do his second affinity mission. But I don't think we'll actually be able to do that in the time allotted. Well, we could do one post game, but you know what I mean. Anyways, we're actually going back to Caldros now because now for the next story mission, I'm gonna need 10% survey rate. So let's get it. So back here in Caldros, it's time to do some surveying now. The Thing is, we only need 10%. However, Caldros is without a doubt one of the most violent areas in the entire game, and Golmeva are flaw. Oh, holy phrase, level 64. You broke the level cap. I think that might have been the first time. No, it's definitely not the first tyrant, but yeah, this place is super dangerous, even with level 30 scales. So I'm gonna try and show you guys the easiest way and safest way to get 10%. Because the first time I came here. I got completely obliterated, so now I've charted out a little bit of a path to where hopefully you can come in here and just knock this place out really easily. Oh gosh, your, uh, your mileage may vary though, because the thing about Caldros and pretty much all of Xenoblade is, oh, there, I think Yelv and Hope were swimming in lava, which is why they're dying, but uh, I don't know why I'm laughing at that. Uh, the thing is, I'm just gonna try and get you to, pro oh god no, why are you here? You weren't here before, or was he? I don't really remember. Um, this is awkward. I'm just gonna run up and get it. I'm out, okay. Sweet, get back in the scale <laughs> across. Okay, good, but um, as I was saying, the thing about this place is enemy placements may vary because that's just the nature of the game. And oh man, this place is actually pretty violent, but uh, pretty to look at as well. And I can't believe that Golmeva did not seem, I hope I'm saying that right because they say like Colmeva, and I'm like, how the dump do I pronounce that? Okay, if I can just do this one. Really? This is the toughest one in the Kitsune Stronghold because there's a lot of enemies and your scale might blow up, which means you might not get out. But if you land directly inside of it and you have mechanical level four and get right back in. Oh gosh, run, run, run. We should be fine. None of the enemies can fly. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, that was that's the only tough one. They're me oh, yeah, we actually were fine. Awesome, but uh, yeah, that's the only difficult one. You could potentially do that a little bit easier if you're not like confident in your like scale piloting. You could just use Shadow Runner and make that a lot easier. And speaking of Shadow Runner, I actually really need to do that on this next part because I do not trust myself. But you're probably thinking, Johnny, you can't use the Shadow Runner strat. You didn't bring Elman. Oh, this is unexplored territory. Nice, but uh, that's the thing. I don't need Elma anymore because I can technically do the job just the same once I change my weapons. And now that I've done that, we can use Shadow Runner and run behind all of these enemies and get straight to that. Oh gosh, I need to not waste it. I still have rank one Shadow Runner though, so it won't last as long as Elma's necessarily, but. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that level 63 tyrant, so I think I'll be running past it if you don't mind, but uh... So far, we're almost done. We have like 8.97, so we need like two more, I'm pretty sure, and we're done. If this one gives me 1%, which I better... Oh, uh, okay, those aren't hostile, good. <laughs> but uh, just a mechanical level 3. Really? I. I think this is about the best way to go about this because, yeah, Caldros can be such a pain. What I like to do is just stay on the outskirts. Really, the main threat of Caldros is in the center because that's where the ganglion are, and we don't want to mess with them, obviously. So, I'm just gonna get one more and we will be finished. I have like 9.6. That is really annoying. But Caldros itself is not huge, it only takes a couple of probes to get 
Max, well, not Max or Faye. <laughs> well, technically that sentence is correct as well, but you know what I mean. With this last probe, we will be at, yes, over 10% survey rate, awesome, and who the... These birds are not gonna let me do an outro all your own. Could you, could you stop? I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk. This is not a climactic way to end the episode off. All right, let's go back to the base. All right, now that I escaped those very obnoxious birds, the reason that we went to Kaldros in this episode is because, wait, I have a cat? Oh yeah, we did get one. The next story mission, chapter 11, does require that we have surveyed 10% of Kaldros. And also we need to knock out one more affinity mesh. Kind of a bummer, but we'll knock that out in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed what oh, it hope is <laughs> pretty indifferent, it seems. Uh anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know oh, I'm not doing <laughs> This is the worst outro ever. Holy crud, can I catch a break? Anyways, we met up with Hope. We did Fog's affinity mission. And that was pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna do a lot of crap, but hopefully you found this video helpful. Anyways, in the next episode, we're gonna take on some more affinity missions. So see you guys then. Bye.